Hey guys, this is Alan, and today's episode we're discussing how can plants live in 120 degree weather. Now you guys know I live in the desert in Arizona and uh, it gets really hot here in the summer. This morning was actually 90 degrees at 8.30 in the morning and uh, I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible because my camera is gonna overheat in the next few minutes. But I wanted to show you guys how we keep our plants alive here when it gets super hot because a lot of people don't think plants will live in this type of temperatures. Now, how long will you last in the desert in full sun without water? Well, the same thing applies to your plants, guys. So here in Arizona, we have to water our plants very frequently because plants here will dry out and all it takes is a few hours in direct sun for that plant to die without water. So let me show you uh, something real quick, guys. So this uh, thermostat right here, um, it was in the shade and you can see it's about 114 115 degrees now let's go and check this other one here that I, I put in the Sun just probably about 30 minutes ago you can see the needle it's all the way past 120 degrees this thing is super hot in the red Sun I would say full Sun right now if you're standing in this specific spot right now it's easily about 100 120 to 130 degrees now obviously this uh, thermostat only goes to 120 degrees as you can see so after that it's not really that accurate but we know for sure it's at least 120 degrees now how long will your plants actually live without water now let me show you real quick guys you can see I'm watering my plants right now those plants right there are citrus um, we water them about twice a day right now because twice a day they're drying out how long can they live without water? Well, if this guys go dry, all it takes is one afternoon to lose all, all the whole canopy. And then I would say about two afternoons to completely die. But remember, if they take damage after that one afternoon, it's gonna take over a year for that plant to recover. So yeah, it's not recommended to let them dry out. I have some uh, lemon guavas right here. This guys, how long can they live without water? Well, these guys are actually root bound in those containers. If they go fully dry for one afternoon, I will lose everything, guys. So these guys can live without water, probably with, for one afternoon before dying. Mango trees right here, guys. These guys are resilient and they're like bulletproof. So if these guys go dry, I will lose the canopy in one afternoon. In two afternoons, they're dead. Suriname cherries, these guys, they have very shallow fibrous roots. So as soon as they go dry, within one to two hours, they will start taking damage. And by one afternoon, they're dead, guys. Bamboo, same thing, guys. Shallow roots, very fibrous. And then as soon as these guys go dry, they start taking damage immediately. So within a few hours and being in the sun right now, 120 degrees, they're dead. Guava plants. Guava plants are actually a little, sp uh, they're special. They fall under a special category. And that is, if you like to water, you will get a guava. This guy's the root system is very shallow, but you know, the type of root system is not really that relevant in containers. Now this, the structure of the roots is what's important. This guy's, the root system is very tiny. It's like hair-like. These guys are fully rooted in there, but you cannot even really tell. Now, how long will these guys live without water? Well, as soon as these guys go dry, within one hour, if they run out of water, they're dead, guys. That's how quickly. Right now, my guavas, I'm watering every two to three hours for about three to five minutes. And that is enough to saturate the pot and keep them wet. Here in our area, guys, we have no humidity in the air. There are no clouds in the sky, and it's 115 degrees in the shade. So, I have to water these guys, I have to keep them wet. Because even if these guys go moist, which is enough for most of my plants here, it's not enough for guavas. Guavas need to stay wet because they have a hard time drinking the water from the soil. So to make up for that, we have to keep them wet. So right now we water these guys every two to three hours for a few minutes just to keep them wet. If I miss watering guys, let me show you. Yesterday, I forgot to turn my water on and I left it off. So they did not get water for about, I would say, maybe six, seven hours. And you can see they took damage. This guy's wilted a little bit and because they did not get water for one cycle 
actually two cycles, they started taking damage. If I hadn't noticed that, guys, and they actually went without water, yeah, I would have lost everything here. So, yeah, keep that in mind, guys. If you're gonna grow plants in 120 degrees, you are, are going to water very frequently. Well, what a lot of people don't realize, guys, is you could water for 10 hours straight. And in containers, it really doesn't matter because you're still gonna have to water again. Most of the water in your container is gonna drain down the container and whatever the potty mix holds, it's all the water the plant's gonna have for the next few hours. Um, so you're gonna have to water very frequently. That's how we actually get our plants to live here in 120 degree temperatures. We water very frequently, guys, and all it takes for some plants is one hour in full sun, going dry for that plant to die and if the plant doesn't die guys it may take damage and what a lot of people don't realize is that damage will easily take six months to over a year for the for that plant to recover let me show you one real quick let's walk this way before my camera overheats Suriname cherries guys I miss watering this guys for one time one day I water this guys twice a day and you can see a lot of my branches took damage how long will this plants here take to recover it will take easily all the way through next year one full calendar year for this plants to recover so I can uh, rehome this plants this plants are gonna have to stay here until they you know flush and they look nice again so I lost one year of growth because I was lazy one afternoon and I thought they were okay and they were not so when you don't check your plants guys that's what happens they suffer so make sure you water and uh, very frequently don't be afraid to water because that's what kills plants a lot of people right now are so afraid to overwater the plants that they would rather kill them from lack of water than to actually overwater it takes months to kill your plants from overwatering guys and most times it's only gonna happen during winter time when the plants are not sweating when the soil is not drying out that's when you're gonna have overwatering issues right now even if you overwater your plants you're not gonna see any issues at all which one would you rather do? Overwater your plant, which takes months to happen, or not watering your plants and then loosen them in one hour in the summer. Uh, I will overwater my plant any day, guys. But anyways, hopefully this gives you a, a perspective uh, on what we have to deal with here in the summer, guys. It's extremely hot. Yes, plants, a lot of plants will take it. Some plants are heat sensitive, but that's a completely different topic. Uh, but yeah, that's how you get your plants to live in 120 degree temperatures, guys. They will drink a lot more water, a lot more frequently than any other plants anywhere else in the U.S. where the temperatures are more mild. All right, guys. So any comments, comment below. If you like the video, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time.